In Port Said, Egypt, a visibly devastated Marilyn Klinghoffer finally left the Achille Loro. She and her wheelchair-bound 69-year-old husband, Leon, had boarded the Italian cruise liner seven days ago in Genoa for their first vacation in two years. Today, Mrs. Klinghoffer left the ship a widow. Her husband murdered two days ago by Palestinian terrorists. <laughs> Just yesterday afternoon, the family members were celebrating outside the couple's Greenwich Village apartment in the belief that Leon and Marilyn Klinghoffer were safe and free. A few hours later, their joy was turned to grief. We have confirmation from the State Department as to the death of Leon Klinghoffer. Today, outside the Klinghoffer's apartment building, friends and neighbors expressed outrage and disbelief. Inside, the Klinghoffer family remains secluded. It's a neighbor, it's a human being. Uh, I'm, I'm in. I couldn't hurt a fly. It's so innocent, such a kind of good-natured man in the wheelchair. And the mother is, and I threw him, you know, into the... Uh, it's uh, unbelievable. I am hurt. I feel sorry for the children. I feel sorry for Mrs. Klinghoffer. Just before noon, Letty Simon arrived at the apartment building. She said President Reagan had not yet telephoned the family. In fact, family efforts to call the White House, she said, had failed. I wish to tell you that this morning, a member of the Klinghopper family called the White House and um, did, did state that the caller was a member of the Klinghopper family. And twice, uh, the White House hung up the telephone. They have not heard from the White House. Finally, at 5 o'clock, 25 hours after the Klinghoffer family members had jubilantly announced that Leon and Marilyn Klinghoffer had been released unharmed, the son-in-law of Leon Klinghoffer came out to read a written statement. We want you to know that our father, Leon Klinghoffer, was a devoted husband, a loving father, and a kind and generous friend to many people. This morning, we spoke to the girl's mother, Marilyn Klinghopper in Egypt. The nature of their conversation was very private and concerned family matters only. No details of the death of Leon Klinghopper were discussed other than Marilyn said, your father was a hero. Ron Claiborne, Channel 5 News.